Hello and welcome everyone to this PostgreSQL video tutorial. Today in this video tutorial, we will explore how to compare timestamps in PostgreSQL using various operators and functions. So first, let's know what is a timestamps. Timestamps are a common data type in database system. Timestamps allows you to record a specific point in time and are often used to track when a record was created, updated or accessed. In PostgreSQL, timestamps can be compared using a standard comparison operator. These operators are equal to which checks if two timestamps are equal is not equal which checks if two timestamps are not equal less than which checks one timestamp is earlier than other greater than which checks one timestamp is later than other less than equal to this one checks one timestamp is the same as or earlier than another greater than equal to it checks one timestamp is the same as earlier or later than others let's take an example now look at this table events which contains the information about the past events and the upcoming events and suppose you want to retrieve all event that has passed before noon on september 10 2023 and you would write query like this select asterisk from events where event time is less than then within a string specify date 2023 september 10 now when you execute this query it returns all the records from the table events where the event time is earlier than the specified time and date which is 10 september 2023 and like this you can use a different operator like a greater than equal to less than equal to or is not equal to to get a desired timestamps according to your need or you want to compare timestamp according to yourself you can use these operators postgresql comes with packed with a rich of data and time function to assist in the comparison and handling of timestamps now there is a function called now which returns the current timestamps from your systems or which returns a local timestamps or current local timestamps. Now let's see how we can use this now function in time compression. For example, we will take a previous example. Instead of writing September 10, 2023, here we will use a now function. And as you can see, when you execute this code, it retrieves all the records from the table events where the event time is in the past related to the current moment. I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial on timestamp comparison in PostgreSQL. So at last I want to say don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.